All right, recruits, on your desk you will find the case briefing for SCP-002. This subject was discovered in a small crater in northern Portugal where it struck the Earth from orbit. Encased in a shell of thick rock, the fleshy exterior of the object was exposed by the impact. A native farmer happened upon the site and reported his findings to the village elder. Subject gained SCP attention when a level 4 agent posted in the area detected a small radioactive anomaly generated by the object. A collection squad of SCP security personnel led by General Mulhausen was immediately dispatched to the area where they quickly secured the object in a large container and performed initial testing with subjects recruited from the nearby village. Three men were individually sent into the structure and subsequently disappeared. Upon discovering this deadly property of the object, Mulhausen issued a level 4A termination order of any witnesses, which was roughly one-third of the village, to ensure no outside knowledge of the object and initiated its transport to SCP facility. Data redacted. During preparation for transport, four SCP security personnel were inexplicably drawn inside the object where they too immediately disappeared. Following inspection, it appeared as if the object had grown several new furnishings and was beginning to look like the interior of an apartment room. General Mulhausen immediately ordered the requisition of several Class Three hazmat suits for the remaining security team members, who proceeded to lift the container onto the waiting freight ship for transport to the SCP containment facility. Now this next part... Data redacted. That is, until... Data redacted. Following the termination of General Mulhausen, SCP-002 was resecured by SCP staff and brought into special containment in Data Redacted, where it currently resides. In case you have to deal with SCP-002, you should know what to expect. SCP-002 resembles a tumorous, fleshy growth with a volume of roughly 60 meters cubed, or 2,000 cubic feet. An iron hatch on one side leads to its interior, which appears to be a standard low-rent apartment of modest size. One wall of the room possesses a single window, though no such opening is visible from the exterior. The room contains furniture, which, upon close examination, appears to be sculpted bone, woven hair, and other biological substances produced by human bodies. All matter tested thus far shows independent or fragmented DNA sequences for each object in the room. To date... The subject has been responsible for the disappearances of seven personnel. It also has, in its time at the facility, further furnished itself with two lamps, a throw rug, a television, a radio, and a beanbag chair, along with three books of an unknown language, four children's toys, and a small potted plant. Tests with a variety of lab animals, including higher primates, have failed to provoke response in the SCP-002. Cadavers, as well, failed to produce any effect. Whatever the process of the subject uses to convert organic matter into furnishings is apparently only facilitated by the introduction of living humans. Now, if you're going to be dealing with 002, you're going to need to know the special containment procedures. SCP-002 is to remain connected to a suitable power supply at all times. This keeps in what appears to be a recharging mode. In case of electrical outages, the emergency barrier between the object and the facility is to be closed and immediately the area must be evacuated. Once the facility power is re-established, alternating bursts of X-ray and ultraviolet light must strobe the area until SCP-002 is reaffixed to the power supply and returned to recharging mode. Containment area is to be kept at negative air pressure at all times. Teams within 20 meters of SCP-002 or its containment area are required to have at least a minimum of two members. All personnel should maintain physical contact with one another at all times to confer that there is another person present, as your perception may be dulled, skewed, or influenced by proximity to 002. No personnel below level 3 are permitted within SCP-002. This requirement may be waived by a written authorization from two off-site Level 4 administrators, and command staff issued such a waiver must be escorted by at least five Level 3 security personnel for the duration of their contact, and must temporarily surrender their rank and security clearance. Following contact, command staff will be escorted at least five kilometers from SCP-002 and undergo a 72-hour quarantine and psychological evaluation. If deemed fit to return to duty by psych staff, 
Rank and security clearance may be restored when quarantine expires. Remember to go over everything found in your safety briefing, and make sure you've got your buddy handy. Enjoy your time at the living room. Hey, thanks for listening. If you enjoyed that, make sure to check out scp-wiki.net, and you can find a whole lot more stories like this. And if you find one you like, feel free to leave the number of the SCP in the comment below, and I'll get to work on that one. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to hear more of me, check out my podcast. Thanks.